Hi, this is Eric Stevens with Truth and Wellness and the Whole Life Challenge. I'm here to talk with you today about everyone's favorite topic, aging. Aging is something all of us have in common with each passing day or getting older. In fact, for the first time in the history of our planet, there are more people now over the age of 65 that are living on Earth than there are under the age of five. We're literally, as a species, getting older. And of course, this is not necessarily a good thing or a bad thing. It is a thing we all must deal with and we all must confront in our lives, which is aging. As it relates to our fitness, our health, our wellness, it's something many of us struggle with. It hasn't always been that way though. Other cultures applaud and even cherish the aging process. The Greeks had a god of aging, which they called Giros. And with Giros, it literally translates into gift of honor. The Greeks believe that as you age, you're bestowed gifts such as wisdom, courage, experience. So why is it then that many of us in our modern culture struggle with this? We're told with each passing year that we should look younger and there are books and magazines and television programs that are so focused on getting rid of your wrinkles, getting rid of your gray, having a younger looking body. The before and after photo is such a pronounced mantra in the fitness industry and in people's sense of goals with how they look. But of course, it's a fallacy. There is no ultimate before and after photo. No one ever shows you the after the after photo. We're, we're getting older and it's something we all must grapple with, which is our bodies will decay, all material organisms will diminish, diminish and atrophy, and that's okay, because as we age, again, we're bestowed these gifts. And what we realize in fitness and wellness is that we can shift our focus from a state of how we look and the goals in and around our physique to a state of how we feel. My dad, his name is Phil, and when he turned 50 years old, he had buttons printed up that said, you're only as old as you fill. And of course, my dad was right. You are only as old as you feel. And we can concentrate in our lives and fitness and wellness on a state of feeling, a state of grace, a state of expression, a state of flow. And interestingly enough, when we focus on a state of feeling, it sort of dictates our circumstances, i.e., how you look. When you uh, are around someone with, who in, and cherishes that aging process, that cherishes that state of flow and, and of how they feel, it affects how they look. Uh, there's a man across the uh, street from me in, in, in the park that practices Tai Chi every day. He's an elderly man. What a wonderful expression he has in his state of flow, his state of grace, and how he, uh, he moves his body. I encourage you when you take your next step in fitness, in health, and in wellness, instead of the before and after photo as your goal, concentrate on a state of how you feel versus simply how you look. We are all getting older, and that doesn't have to be a, a, a bad thing. Again, take a, a hint from the Greeks, which is it's a gift. It's really a gift of honor to age. It's better than the alternative. <laughs> I'm Eric Stevens with Truth and Wellness and the Whole Life Challenge. Make it a healthy day.